an examination of Neanderthal and Denisovan blood types revealed that the ancient blood that once pumped through long extinct archaic people shared more genetic traits with modern humans than previously thought. The new research fills in the gaps and helps us better comprehend how early humans lived and perished, ultimately laying the foundation for our current dominance of the planet. Despite not being intended to investigate Neanderthal extinction, the study ultimately provided a novel approach to doing so. The biologist Carl Landsteiner made a significant discovery about the composition of human blood in 1901. The four distinct blood types a, B, O, and A, B, were later identified as a result of this discovery, which earned a Nobel Prize. More recently, though, it has given researchers a hitherto unheard of window into the existence and ultimate destruction of prehistoric humanity. An analysis of the high-quality nuclear genomes previously published from three Neanderthals and one Denisovan shows that these extinct hominins were polymorphic for ABO blood groups and shared blood group alleles. In other words, they found that these ancient hominins displayed the full range of ABO variability observed in modern humans, as we'll discuss. Neanderthals are an extinct human hunter-gatherer population that lived in Eurasia between 300,000 and 39,000 years ago before being totally replaced throughout their territory by Homo sapiens. Their morphological features progressively evolved from their ancestors and adapted to the cooler climate of Europe. Their arrival in Europe marked a major demographic and cultural change. The Denisovans are also an extinct human population, but their bone record is too fragmentary for complete morphological comparisons. One of the biggest questions concerning paleoanthropologists was whether the Neanderthal population in Europe and Denisovans in Asia were full members of the present human species, a member of a subspecies or a completely distinct species, Homo sapiens, the dominant species, took over Eurasia some 50,000 years ago, just as the Neanderthals and Denisovans were going extinct. Indeed, we need to comprehend why Neanderthals and Denisovans vanished in order to comprehend how modern man came to control planet Earth. Scientific evidence refutes the widely held belief that Neanderthals were stupid and that their low intelligence caused the much smarter ancestors of modern people to drive them to extinction. When combined with competition from Homo sapiens for the same ecological niche, these factors may have weakened the Neanderthals and Denisovans to the point of causing their extinction, the researchers conclude. Over the last decade, technological progress has allowed generation of data from the entire genome of some 15 extinct Neanderthals and Denisovans who lived 40,000 to 100,000 years ago from Western Europe to Siberia. The study revealed population structure, several demographic fluctuations and gene flows across hominin populations, worldwide dispersal of archaic genes by admixed Homo sapiens, and even the existence of a super-archaic ghost population. In addition, the availability of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA sequences provided a phylogenetic status and chronological depth that have significantly enhanced the understanding of gene variation in modern humans. Nevertheless, you need to have a basic understanding of blood types to comprehend why this type is so uncommon and important. Four primary blood types exist. The oldest blood type, type A, predated the development of the human race from its hominid forebears. A genetic change that happened in one of the sugars on the surface of red blood cells caused type B to emerge around 3.5 million years ago. Blood type O, whose cells do not contain the sugar that results in the production of blood types A or B, was created 2.5 million years ago as a result of another mutation to the gene that determines the type of sugar that blood cells contain. Another blood type, known as AB, which expresses both sugars simultaneously, appeared at some point throughout the years. The antigens on the cell membrane that distinguish the blood types cause an immunological reaction when they come into touch with an environment that is inhospitable to them. Researchers looked into the blood types of the Neanderthals using data from three Neanderthal genomes and one Denisovan genome from 64,000 years ago. Only one Neanderthal's blood had ever been categorized before this study, and it was discovered to be type O, 
according to the ABO method that modern humans use to categorize their blood. Therefore, it was supposed that all Neanderthals were type O, since all chimpanzees are type A and all gorillas are type B. However, the new research discovered that a 100,000-year-old Neanderthal woman's remains from Siberia's Denisova cave, a 48,000-year-old Neanderthal woman's remains from Siberia's Chagyaskaya cave, and a 64,000-year-old Neanderthal woman's remains from Croatia's Vindija cave all had type A blood. In order to identify blood type, the study examined ancient genetic data. Blood type is based on variations in the amino acids of specific alleles. Blood type is inherited, much like hair or eye color. The scientists also sought to determine whether polymorphism, a term for genetic variation among Neanderthals and Denisovans, existed. In order to provide a complementary perspective on the evolutionary history of the human lineage, the effort to discover polymorphism was made. Crucially, ABO blood types have now been verified in humans other than the current species of Homo sapiens for the first time. It suggests that these blood types were probably also present in the progenitors of Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens. This demonstrates the significance of studying blood systems to comprehend human evolution, the spread of our species over Eurasia, and its interactions with other humans. In addition to the ABO findings, the researchers claim that the genes underlying the blood groups in these ancient humans support the hypothesis that Neanderthals and Denisovans did not originate in Africa because they lacked specific antigens and had ancestral blood groups connected to African populations. According to the researchers, these features are consistent with a Neanderthal and Denisovan gene pool predating Homo sapiens. Few researchers have considered blood type analysis, even though scientists have previously undertaken genetic study on the remains of Neanderthals and Denisovans. In another study published in the journal PLOS Genetics, researchers analyzed the genomes of two Neanderthals, a Denisovan and two African modern humans. They discovered that 1% of the Denisovan genome was introgressed from an unknown archaic hominin ancestor. Approximately 15% of these archaic regions were then introgressed into modern humans and continue to exist in the genomes of people alive today. As mentioned, around 50,000 years ago humans interbred with Neanderthals and Denisovans in Eurasia. But that wasn't the only time our ancient human ancestors and relatives exchanged DNA. The sequencing of genomes from Neanderthals and Denisovans has revealed many new details about these interbreeding events and the movement of ancient human populations. The scientists used an algorithm to examine genomes from two Neanderthals, a Denisovan and two African modern humans. They discovered evidence that 3% of the Neanderthal genome was derived from ancient humans and estimated that this interbreeding occurred between 200,000 and 300,000 years ago. Furthermore, 1% of the Denisovan genome is likely descended from an unknown and distant relative, possibly Homo erectus, and approximately 15% of these archaic regions may have been passed down to modern humans living today. Given the frequency of these occurrences, genetic exchange, sometimes referred to as sex, was likely occurred whenever two groups overlapped in time and space. The scientists also investigated the genes that secrete the ABO blood types and discovered a particular gene variant called a C allele. Prior to this research, this allele was exclusively observed in modern humans. Alleles are a collection of genes that can only be found in one place on a chromosome. These findings imply that early interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans probably took place most likely someplace in the Middle East of today. Therefore, the blood type research provides additional hints on the disappearance of the Neanderthals. This study identifies the blood group systems in Neanderthals and Denisovans in order to better understand their evolutionary history and to consolidate hypotheses concerning their dispersal in Eurasia and interbreeding with early Homo sapiens. This fuels the discussion about admixture events between the different lineages and also about the early dispersal of Homo sapiens into Australia and Papua New Guinea. In fact, a distinct genetic link between the Denisovan blood types and the blood types of Aboriginal Australians and an indigenous Papuans suggests the possibility of mating between Neanderthals and modern humans. However, 
just one member of Australia's Western Desert Aboriginal people had the now rare rhesus type known as rhesus plus incomplete, which was shared by all three Neanderthals. It was believed at the time to be a brand new rhesus type that had developed in Australia. Eighty people from Papua New Guinea have now also been identified as having the uncommon rhesus type. The most shocking discovery was that three Neanderthals who lived 50,000 years apart and a distance of 5,000 kilometers all have the same rhesus blood type. This strengthens the argument that Neanderthals had little genetic variation, which increases the likelihood that a disease could exterminate them. In fact, the discovery of an allele linked to increased susceptibility to diseases that harm fetuses and infants is arguably the most interesting, though. Hemolytic disease, a blood illness that affects neonates, serves as a specific example. In fact, there is evidence that there is an 18% risk that the baby would die from hemolytic disease of the newborn if a RH partial complete Neanderthal mated with an full Homo sapiens. Given that it lowers reproductive success, it's probable that this contributed to the final extinction of Neanderthals and Denisovans.